how to dress classy in winter? That is a good question. Do you know how it is to try and look good in like minus 25 Celsius degrees? It's not easy. I know because I grew up the hard way. Welcome to the School of Affluence YouTube channel. My name is Anna and I run the School of Affluence, which is an online finishing school for women who want to become more elegant and navigate more successfully in the high society. Now let's level up girls. Let's talk about winter fashion. This topic is very like close to my heart because I live in a Nordic country. I grew up in a Nordic country and God knows if I will stay in one for the rest of my life. Maybe that is my karma. I wish I was a little bit more southbound somewhere. But to be quite honest with you, I do enjoy the seasons. I think the seasons are cozy. The only problem is like, it's not very cozy when it gets too cold because that creates a big problem for us. Like how we're gonna look chic, how we're gonna look elegant and so on. But I'm gonna give you uh, a few pointers that I want you to like, yeah, focus on these pointers now during winter season, now when this winter sale starts and really try and purchase these type of items because they are going to elevate your look in winter. And it's a bit like a, a fast track to look expensive and looking classy. Now let's cover one important basics first and that is if you live somewhere that is like let's say one meter of snow it is minus 30 degrees and you don't have a car <laughs> and you want to wear heels and you want to wear like a nice dress it's going to be impossible really you know there is a level to what you can do and achieve during winter and depending where you live i say that in winter time it is worth spending more on taxi i know that not all of you ladies have a big budget to spare but if i was you I would prioritize a bit of taxi so that you can look better than, you know, having to, to take, I don't know, the bus or something or walk. Oh my God, walk. Imagine walking with your like, you know, cute little dress and stuff. No, like invest in taxis because this is the time of the year where we're not supposed to be stingy when it comes to taxi. If you want to look good, it's going to cost that that's just the way life works. Okay, moving on, that was the basics. So girls, take taxi, that is my advice. Now the number one thing that everybody, everybody needs to invest in, and that is a gorgeous, expensive coat. Okay, it doesn't have to be expensive, but it has to be like expensive looking. And the reason for that is, number one, the coat is a big piece. So the bigger the piece is, the more it stands out, the more space it takes on your body, the more you have to spend on it because people are going to pay attention to it. Number two, a coat that is of high quality materials will be much more warmer than some coat that you bought at Zara. But I need to give you two advice though. I want you to buy two colored coats so i want you to get one in black because we all need a black coat this black coat you should be able to wear during the day and during the evening so you can alternate it you have to find a coat that is all around a coat that works with your daytime outfit and with the evening outfit now secondly you need to buy a light colored coat that coat can be maybe white off-white camel camel is a very good choice uh, maybe light pink i don't know it's up to you this coat will maybe be more for daytime um, you can also of course wear it during night but i don't know somehow i always found that lighter colors just look a bit better during daytime but that's just my personal preference now i've spoken already about monochrome and i will be talking again about monochrome you see one of the most clever ways of looking like high fashion elegant and classy in winter is to be layering in monochrome so whenever you layer in monochrome it's not going to look like i don't know messy it's all going to look very united and when it looks united it just ends up looking a little bit more high fashion so i don't know choose a color maybe not black maybe i don't know beige camel white white is always a safe bet if you want to look very expensive especially if you wear an all white outfit now it's not the first time i say this and this is not going to be the last one either if you're feeling a little bit bold you can go maybe all red i don't know you choose but layering in the monochrome is definitely going to keep you warm and make you look high-end riding boots riding boots my favorite oh i love riding boots i have this big i don't know 
passion for equestrian fashion. It may be because I've been a horseback rider myself for like, I don't know, 15, 18 years. So perhaps, um, yes, I will be a bit biased, but I love, I love like horses, stables, equestrian style. I just feel like it looks very old money. And the perfect thing is that when you wear riding boots during winter, you can put some thick cashmere socks in those riding boots that will keep you warm and that will make you like be able to walk through snow <laughs> in like really harsh climates and, and you're actually fine. And on top of it, you look chic. Now, I think the most popular riding boot is definitely the Hermes one. I love the black one, but I also love the light color one. Okay, party time. Party time means that we have to wear a dress. Anything at night or maybe a social function, even during daytime that requires you to, you know, put on some heels, put on a dress. But listen, it's cold, you know. This is not the right time to wear that mini dress, to wear that sleeveless dress. This is the time to wear the long sleeve dress, to wear the dress that actually covers you up quite a lot. I'm sure a lot of you find these type of dresses to be a bit too boring and too conservative. In my personal opinion, I love this type of dresses. I think they're so incredibly chic and you don't end up looking like a grandma because number one, you're not a grandma. You're a young, beautiful girl and if you style it correctly, if you wear some nice heels, if you carry yourself with confidence, move with elegance, you will just look very sophisticated and you will look like you're not the one who's trying too hard by wearing like all these skimpy, you know, short dresses and so on. And what I really like about these type of like conservative dresses is that especially now during this festive season when we have like Christmas lunches, Christmas dinners, I don't know, parties with relatives and grandparents and maybe bosses and stuff at work. Now is the time where we actually need to be looking a little bit more conservative. Um, we can't, you know, rock up in a tight bodycon mini dress eating Christmas lunch with our in-laws. Do you know what I mean? We have to look representable. We have to look appropriate. And I just think that now is such a good time to wear dresses like this because you are just going to benefit from them, really. Plus, they're going to keep you a bit warmer than the usual little mini dress. Now, my personal favorite, um, the one that I've been like overusing for the past, I don't know, X amount of years, that is the over knee boots. I have actually made a blog post about it on my blog, Jessit Babe, and see the link in the description. But over knee boots, it is such an amazing boot because it really keeps you warm. And if you wear over knee boots together with a long coat, you're going to be covered for wind, you're going to be, you know, well protected, and you can choose if you want to wear over knee boots with heels or without heels. It all depends on occasion. My advice is to invest in both so that you have options. Okay, I think I lied by the way. I don't have just one favorite. I have like hundreds of favorites. <laughs> okay, my second favorite is the turtleneck. Now I am obsessed with turtlenecks. And you know, turtlenecks are amazing in winter, especially if you have a turtleneck in Kashmir. If you don't have money to spend on Kashmir, actually you can just buy a simple one from Zara. They are going to keep you warm as well. It's just that the Kashmir ones tend to keep you a little bit more warmer. So I do see them actually worth the investment. You won't be needing to layer up as much underneath your coat if you wear like a turtleneck of Kashmir. I definitely recommend to get like a black one, a beige one or camel one, definitely a white one as well, maybe even a gray one. I think these colors are literally the basics and everybody should stash up on them. Uh, now during the sale, try and buy as many turtlenecks as possible in Kashmir. Trust me, they're going to be like, you know, 50%, 60%. Make use of this. This is a long-term investment. You can do so much with turtlenecks. You can even wear them in the evening for like nice dinners. If you wear them like with a nice tweed skirt or something, there are many ways to spice up a boring old turtleneck. Don't think that just because you're not showing any cleavage, guys are gonna like not be looking at you. Trust me, they will. Because you are going to look like a very sophisticated old money woman wherever you are. So when I was growing up, I don't know if you had the same thing when you were growing up, but your parents always telling you, where's your hat? Wear a hat. You can't leave the house without a hat. 
whenever it was cold. I do understand now though, why? Because actually all the heat from your body kind of goes away from your head. So if your head is covered, that means that your heat will be like preserved inside your body. Use this to your benefit. Invest in a nice chic hat, especially a hat that really will elevate your whole look, like make you look more glamorous. But not only will it make you look more glamorous, you will stay more warm thanks to that little hat. That is just like saying stop to the heat not to escape your body. Win-win situation, right? Same thing, by the way, with scarves. Scarves, you can do so many things with them. You can tie them around your throat to keep some warm. You can even, you know, tie them around your head or any creative way that you can think of. Use the scarf for that. I have also created a blog post just on scarves, so I will also link this below. Now, before we continue, by the way, because I'm sure that you want to know what else I have in the pipeline for you, but I want to tell you that I have created a cheat sheet. A cheat sheet that you can just have a quick look at if you do not know how to dress yourself so that you look classy and expensive. This cheat sheet basically tells you in a quick way, okay, do this, do that, don't do that. To obtain this cheat sheet, go to classycheatsheet.com. The link is here and yeah, download. So winter time means going out at night during winter time can of course become a very cold story. Yes, you can wear those small dresses if you want, but I would personally personally advise to focus on wearing more like jumpsuits, trousers, suits in general in winter time because they are just more covering and will keep you more warm. Keep the dresses, like keep all the dresses for summertime when it's warm, when it's appropriate weather. Just focus more on these type of looks. And anyway, you're gonna end up looking so much more chic this way. The only time I think that you should wear dresses in winter is if you really are going from door to door with a taxi in between, where you have minimal walking outdoors. That's the only time I would personally approve of wearing a dress in very harsh climates. Now lastly, what about tights? So hosiery is a very important topic because I do not want to see any bare legs in winter. Number one, it kind of goes against etiquette and it doesn't look very elegant. Sophisticated, high-class women, they wear tights. But the problem with tights is that it can easily look very cheap. Now, you have to wear tights that blends in with your skin perfectly. Don't go for the tights that have a mismatch in color from your own skin color. The ones that are like too, too white or too dark. Go for the ones that really blends in with your skin tone. I'm talking about the nude color now. Invest in the higher quality brands. They tend to be better from my personal experience. I love Wolford, I love Falke, and also don't do this horrible mistake of wearing your tights with open toe sandals. Ooh. I don't know why girls do that and especially when you can like see the seam. Oh my god, no The worst is like when the seam starts breaking and they keep wearing that and I'm like no. You are not supposed to wear sandals in winter at all even if you're going by taxi any open toe shoes are only for spring summer fall winter according to etiquette you wear closed shoes the only thing that is acceptable is a peep toe shoe but everything else with an open toe is a big no go black tights is fine you can wear them but i would definitely only wear them together with black shoes so that they kind of blend in with each other but make sure your black tights also look expensive you don't want to have the like cheap h&m stuff because yes you can see that it is from h&m a trained eye can see now, before I wrap up, I want you to also take the advantage of wearing colors. I know it's tempting to wear black because it's comfortable and because, you know, we get easily dirty during winter, but whenever you wear some like natural colors like gray, beige, white, I know khaki and so on, it just makes you look more expensive. And not everybody's wearing those colors. Majority wear black. So you will be standing out. And I think you should take opportunity of that, like use that to your benefit, especially if you're somebody who wants to have a little bit of attention and all eyes on you. Now also make use of accessorizing, especially during winter, because we tend to go a little bit more basic during winter and things tend to become a little bit more boring. Now is actually a good time to pull out all those accessories. Like I said, wear that hat, wear that scarf. I don't know, do something that is a little bit more creative than what you usually would have worn. When it comes to fabrics, 
I love cashmere, I love tweed during winter. I think uh, these two fabrics are probably my favorite because they are very warming and they always look very high-end. And everything that looks very high-end, I like. Now that was it for me, ladies. Um, if you're interested to enroll in my online finishing school, the address is schooloffluence.com. Is there any fashion tips that you want to add that is more winter specific? Have you found any winter hacks that you keep using over and over again? Share it with us in the comment section. Subscribe if you still haven't subscribed to my channel and hit me a like if you enjoyed this video. Now enjoy the holiday season and stay warm, girls.